हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर कदम नागपाल हेड ऑफ न्यूरो इम्यूनोलॉजी एंड मूवमेंट डिसऑर्डर्स एट मनीपाल द्वारका सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एलमेंट माइस्थीनिया ग्रेविस सो माइस्थीनिया ग्रेविस इज बेसिकली एन इम्यून मीडिएटेड न्यूरो मस्कुलर डिसऑर्डर सो वॉट हैपन्स दैट देर आर सर्टन एंटीबॉडीज इन द पेशेंट्स ब्लड विच अटैक अगेंस्ट द ट्रांसमिशन विच हैपन्स फ्रॉम द नर्व टू द मसल द ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ द नर्व एंड मसल इज बींग कैरिड आउट बाय अ केमिकल नोन एज एसिटाइल कोलिन and what happens that in this ailment there are antibodies which get developed against acetylcholine so these antibodies attack against acetylcholine thereby inhibiting the transmission from the nerve to the muscle resulting in a neuromuscular weakness so usually the patient often complains about fluctuating problems or fluctuating weakness like drooping of eye balls there would be double vision double vision can happen on seeing on the sides or from uh, looking from up to down there could be swallowing difficulty there could be a nasal twang in the speech there could be nasal regurgitation of uh, food and liquids and patients might just come up with sometimes respiratory muscle weakness and generalized weakness of all the limbs so identification of this uh, fluctuating type of weakness is very important because once we have diagnosed this ailment the treatment is often very rewarding and very beneficial to the patient so once we Uh, there is a clinical examination and clinical evaluation which we perform then we perform uh, electrophysiological testing and then we put the patient through a drug trial also so we see for the benefit of the medication when the medication is being given so this medication is basically an analog of acetylcholine and whenever this medication is given we see that the weakness dramatically gets uh, responded and the patient's benefit is immediately visible and in order to suppress the antibody Uh, crisis in the patient's body we often give immunosuppressants or steroids accordingly to the patient habitus and patient profile the diagnosis of this particular ailment as i said is very rewarding because the benefit is almost immediate and we see the benefit that once the patient is being just coming with so much of weakness so much of droop in the eyelids and double vision and the moment we give this medication uh, the response is very immediate and uh, we see that uh, the patient often gets a benefit on an immediate basis so the importance of this particular ailment is to diagnose it first and then treat it first many a time we see that this ailment is left undiagnosed because of which it keeps on progressing and starting from the lids the patients usually uh, the ailment starts from the eyelids and the patients uh, often come up with a generalized body weakness because of tendency to remain undiagnosed for this ailment thanks a lot and for any uh, neuroimmunological disorders or autoimmune disorders in neurology uh, you can contact manipal hospital dwarka we run a dedicated opd on tuesdays from 2 to 4 pm for neuroimmunology clinics thank you